Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? In this video, I will be showcasing the new As I Am JVCO line. Apparently, they came out with a JVCO line, I know. Thankfully, Trusted of Alexis put me on, so thanks, girl. This line does have eight products, but I only purchased three, because ain't nobody got all those coins to buy all these products. I'm starting off with the co-wash, and it does not come in this janky bottle, but it has a really loosey goosey consistency and I felt like I would be playing with it in the shower. So I just poured it into this bottle. It has a very interesting consistency, almost like gum, like there's some xanthan gum and maybe some war gum in it, but it's not. So I'm not sure what ingredient is doing that, but it does have an interesting texture. I've never really experienced a texture like this. This product does retail for $9. 99 it does come in 16 ounces similarly to the original co-wash but i think that now is about like 6.99 or 7.99 the price has definitely gone down over the years the original co-wash used to be a favorite of mine a few years ago when i first went natural it's been replaced by some other stuff but it is still a co-wash that I would recommend because it's affordable, it's accessible. I haven't tried the ones from the Itchy Scalp Collection or the Long and Luxe Collection. So I've only tried this one, the JVCO one, and the original. But I'm sorry for those of you who like the original. This is definitely better. So if you do like the original, I would recommend picking this up because this one does top that one. By far, this leaves my hair feeling a lot softer than the original does. It makes my curls pop. Like, look how good my curls look. Honestly, I haven't tried the original in like a few years, so maybe I need to pick it up. But from my recollection of that product, this product is a superior product in my opinion. I would recommend picking it up. All the products in this line, or the ones that I have, smell like yogurt it smells pretty sweet so I definitely recommend this co-wash so I air dried my hair for 30 minutes in this t-shirt towel best thing I ever spent best money I've ever spent is like six dollars amazing I will link it down below now I'm going in with the mask which comes in eight ounces as I am let's talk real quick why 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 is the mask only eight ounces you know us naturals love conditioner come on now give us 16 ounces give us 12 ounces but this product does retail for $12.99 so it's not an expensive deep conditioner compared to some other deep conditioners I've tried <coughs> deeper curl um but yeah this product is super thick it has that sticky gummy consistency like the co-wash uh you actually need a lot of this product I pretty much use the entire jar I maybe have half a use left so that's a con for me even though I'm heavy handed on products, I don't want to use so much product that I can't get a lot of uses out of it. I need to at least get two to three uses out of eight ounces, so I would have repurchased this product for that reason. It did leave my hair feeling okay, but it wasn't amazing. This is something that you can kind of yawn at. It's, ugh. I mean, they included it because I'm, I'm sure they need a deep conditioner in the line, but this does not stand out to me. You can see that consistency. It has a very interesting consistency, but you have to apply a lot. Granted, I'm also applying this on damp to dry hair versus many of you will apply conditioner to soaking wet hair. So also take what I'm seeing with a grain of salt, but this is how I apply my conditioner. This is what we do, me and my household. This is what we do up in here. Do what works best for you as always because nothing will work the same for every natural even though my texture might look like your texture my porosity might be the same as your porosity our hair does not react the same to every technique and every product so this is a product that I wouldn't necessarily recommend but also I would never tell anyone never to try anything right because we're all different so I went under my steamer for 20 minutes and when I rinse my hair out, oh, and honey, stay hydrated because it is thirst trap season, okay? When I rinse my hair out, this is what it looked like. It looked very soft and shiny and juicy. I mean, it was a pretty okay deep conditioner. I just have other favorites. So 
my hair at this point has reached a level of hydration so my hair pretty much will look like this but yeah so now I'm going in with the leave-in conditioner it is 8 ounces it retails for $9.99 just like the co-wash I've never used an as I am leave-in before I know a lot of people rave about their leave-ins and I need to go out and purchase some of them and try them out because I've heard really good things about the original leave-in as well as the long and luxe collection but y'all it's a lot of products it's a, it's a lot y'all know I have a lot of products so it's hard for me to keep up oh by the way I know my background is kind of janky but y'all know I just moved into my new place if you don't know what I'm talking about I definitely did a whole video about my first apartment so check it out yeah check it out um, but yeah, I know my background is pretty janky, but it's gonna get better once all my things come from Amazon. But anywho, now I'm going in with the double buttercream. This is from the original collection, and some ghetto boy is out there rubbing up his car because <laughs> it's the Virgin Islands, and I'm kind of hood adjacent, low key. But yeah, the double buttercream honestly blew me out of the water. Um, this is a really good product, uh, one of the best I tried in this entire video. Oh shit, I didn't even talk about the leave-in. Yeah, the leave-in is straight, ain't nothing to really talk about it. It applied pretty good into my hair, it made my hair feel relatively soft. It's something that I would use again, I have to test it more. Honestly, in a video like this, it's hard to get your true opinions about every single product. So I'm going to go back and try the leave-in again, but I enjoyed it. I didn't need a lot of it to get through my hair. so. I will continue to use the leave and I will update you in the future. I feel like this video is all over the place, but it's okay. I hope it's still informative and have help, help, helpful. Mm -hmm. Helpful, none of the less. So yeah, I just applied the leave-in and the double butter cream just to moisturize my hair before I go in with the gel. Does that make sense? <laughs> if it doesn't make sense, comment down below and I'll help you out. And this is what my hair is looking like. It looks nice and juicy. I I like, I like. And now I'm going in with the smoothing gel, which is probably the biggest disappointment of this video. I wanted to make it an all, uh, an all as I am wash day because I had all these as I am products that I hadn't really tried before. So I thought I would just go in and try them all. I'm spraying my hair with my rice water leave-in. I have an entire video on that. Definitely check it out. It has helped me glue my hair back pretty quickly. So this is what the smoothing gel consistency looks like. At first, it looks super thick. You think, oh yeah, this is gonna be like extreme wet, extreme wet line gel, but obviously with better ingredients, it's alive. So this product emulsifies into your hair, turns into water. I was really disappointed because I think Kimberly Sherelle really likes this product, and Kim, um, Quinn Ray really likes this product. But this smoothing gel on my first curl hair was a no. And my hair was gonna look okay in the end, but it's not amazing. I use the entire jar practically. I probably have a smidget left to like slick my bun. It won't even slick your bun because it's so softening. Um, my hair did feel amazing, but it didn't really look amazing. But Anywho, once we get to the end of the video, you'll see what I mean. So I just keep applying the product throughout my hair. I smooth and rake. I discussed that before in my previous, in my two videos ago of how I do my wash and go. But I'm still also trying to perfect my wash and go. So more on that later. So yeah, I just make sure I get my hair soaking wet. Just so the products can really get into my hair. And so my curls can start popping and where it's not. But yeah, just keep watching and yeah, y'all. Let me know if you're into this type of video. Like, even though this video is really about the new JBC online, let me know if it's okay that I'm talking about other products too, or is it confusing? Like, do you prefer just having a video with just the JBC products? Like, you would have preferred just to see the three products in one video, or do you like them doing a full wash day? Let me know what you what you're into. I just want to create content that y'all want to see, kids. I create this content for you, not for me. So. Let me know. Yeah, I was not impressed. Like, I kept really applying. And I should have stopped 
this video and just went in with some extreme wet line gel but I hate myself so of course I continue with a gel that I knew I knew wasn't about shit and I totally regretted it and you just hear noise in the background while I'm doing this voiceover y'all already know it's people are going home from work I live pretty close to the roadside so y'all don't hear some noise it's just the noise pollution here is just crazy but yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. Nothing fantastic. I was, I just knew, <laughs> I just knew this was, I knew this wasn't about to be nothing, but this is what my hair looks like. I definitely look like that little girl from The Exorcist. I look so damn creepy, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess because I was over, like internally I was like, you, you played yourself. But again, I hate myself and I kept forging on, although I should have stopped but it is what it is. And my hair looks all right at this point. It's not amazing. I've seen my hair look a lot better. And honestly, y'all, it's too damn hot for makeup. It's so damn hot in my apartment. Y'all know I don't have AC. And it's like 90 degrees outside. So y'all about to get this fresh face. This is what my hair looks like. I mean, it don't look that great, but it looks like, but it feels like a cloud. It don't look like a cloud. Maybe it looks like a cloud too, but it definitely feels like a cloud. My hair feels amazing. Like if it wasn't for the flakes, I'd be okay with it. Honestly, after my hair dried, I washed my hair out. Like currently my hair, I did my hair on Sunday and today is Tuesday and my hair is in twists. I twisted my hair up in some chunky twists. Like my hair was a fail. Like I washed it immediately. You can't really see the flakes in the video. My hair actually looks pretty good on camera, but in person, <laughs> It was snowing. It was a it was a winter Chicago type of type of thing. So yeah, this is these are the results of my wash day. Definitely try out that as I am co-wash, that JBCO co-wash and the double buttercream. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Hope you enjoyed.